Good morning, my friends. This is Carrie Green once again with the Morning Mindset, and might I say, Happy New Year. Here it is, New Year's Eve, and you're listening to the Live, Build, Change podcast. Perhaps for this next year, I could give you a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a, an exhortation to help you get your mind aligned with the truth of God in the coming year. Perhaps you would make the resolution, and I typically don't believe in resolutions, but I think this is one that would do you so much good. Not because it's something I'm involved with, but just simply because it's something that is pouring the truth of God into you on a regular basis. And here it is. Here's the challenge. Make it your goal this next year to not miss one day of listening to The Morning Mindset because you want to get your mind aligned with the truth of God every single day of the coming year. Wouldn't that be a beautiful victory for you to be able to say in the next year that I listened to the morning mindset, I got biblical truth into my mind every single day of the year. And might I encourage you also to share this episode, this particular morning mindset episode here on December 31st with someone you know, with many someones you know, and ask them to take the challenge with you. I think it would be a great way for you to hold each other accountable, to encourage one another in the Lord daily, as the scripture encourages us to do, and to actually have conversations surrounding the con- the content of the morning mindsets as you hear them. Now, we're about half done with our morning mindset here already, and I haven't even got to the scripture. I want, want to look at one of the Beatitudes That is my favorite. Honestly, it's my favorite. This is verse number eight. And it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I'm not exactly sure why this one is my favorite, why it resonates with me so much. But what I do know is this. Ever since the time I started taking my faith more seriously, which was probably my junior year of high school, this idea of being pure in heart has just drawn me to itself. I don't really know any other way to say it. It's been something that just reverberates inside of me when I hear it. And it says, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Man, don't you want to see God? Don't you want someday for your eyes to behold that beauty that is God himself? I just can't even fathom it right now. I can't even imagine what that would be like. But something in me rises up. Something in me wants that beyond all else. But it's easy to quickly get discouraged because it says it's the pure in heart that will see God. And I know there are times that I don't behave like a person with a pure heart. I know there are times I don't think and and have motives like a person with a pure heart. And so I can easily be discouraged. But part of what Jesus is doing here in the Sermon on the Mount is he's laying out what it looks like to be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. So in a sense, he's laying out the long view, what it is like to be redeemed by Jesus Christ. Because he knows that none of us can live up to these standards of the Beatitudes or any of the rest of the Sermon on the Mount without his help. You see, the only hope we have of having a pure heart is if Jesus makes it pure. And if you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ, something amazing has happened. He has cleansed you of your sins, past, present, and future. He's done that for me as well. Anyone who had placed their faith in Jesus Christ can now be said to be the pure in heart. And my brother, my sister, we will see God. So walk into the new year this evening with great confidence and great joy, knowing you are one of those pure in heart who will one day see God himself in all of his glory. Hey, thanks for joining me on The Morning Mindset. Join me again tomorrow and start off the new year with that resolution. I'll talk to you then.